weeks three to four of quarter two have multiple concepts within so we will divide the video lessons into multiple parts in this particular video we will focus on the relationships between central and inscribed angles and their intercepted arcs so what is the relationship between arcs and central angles so the degree measure of a minor arc is the degree measure of its central angle the degree measure of the major arc is 360 degrees minus the measure of the minor arc so basically what this is saying is that um, the measure of the central angle is just equal to the measure of its intercepted arc and if you want to um, find the measure of the major arc then you just have to um, subtract the measure of the minor arc from 360 degrees because that is the measure of a full circle let us apply this concept to multiple examples in our first example right here we have to find the measure of arc a b c firstly we have to locate where arc ADC is so basically here is arc ADC A D C the question is what is its measurement so the measure of the central angle A B C is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc in this particular case, the intercepted arc is arc ADC. The measure of angle ABC is 180 degrees because that is a straight angle. So therefore, the measure of arc ADC is 180 degrees. Moving on to the next problem. So we have to find the measure of arc GE. Firstly, let us locate where arc GE is. Here is arc GE. And it is an intercepted arc. It is an arc that is being intercepted by this central angle GFE, which measures 60 degrees. From the concept, the measure of the central angle GFE is equal to the measure of the intercepted arc GE. What is the measurement of angle GFE? 60 degrees. Therefore, that is also the measurement of arc GE. Next, so we have to find the measure of arc K l j let us locate where arc k l j is first so this is arc k l j k l right there then j this is a major arc so what we want to do first is to find the measurement of this minor arc but this minor arc is an arc that is being intercepted by this central angle. And according to our um, concept, the measure of a central angle, in this particular case, Kij, is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. In this particular case, that is arc Kj. So the measure of angle Kij that is 70 degrees is equal to the measure of arc Kj. But what we are looking for is the measurement of arc Klj. Therefore, we have to subtract the measurement of arc Kj from 360 degrees. 
So the measure of arc KLJ is equal to 360 degrees minus the measure of arc KJ. So that is now 360 degrees minus 70 degrees. So the measure of arc KLJ is equal to 290 degrees. So that is basically it for central angles and their intercepted arcs. Central angles and their intercepted arcs have the same measurement. Let us proceed to inscribe the angles and their intercepted arcs. So the measure of an inscribed angle is half the measure of its intercepted arc. So if we have a figure right here, we have an inscribed angle, BAC, and an intercepted arc, BC. According to our concept, the measure of an inscribed angle is half the measure of its intercepted arc. So therefore, the measure of angle BAC is half the measure of arc BC. So let's say for instance, the measure of arc BC is 40 degrees. Then it follows that the measure of angle BAC is 20 degrees because the measurement of the inscribed angle is half the measure of its intercepted arc. This is the difference between the relationship between central angles and their intercepted arcs and inscribed angles and their intercepted arcs. Let us proceed to certain examples where we can apply this concept. So we have a figure here that is circle O. AC is a diameter. Measure of arc AD is 70. So let us um, write the measurements in the figure. Measure of arc AD is 70. So this is 70. And measure of angle BDC is equal to 30. So I'll use a um, thinner pen. BDC, BDC right here. This is 30. So let us determine the measures of the following. Let us focus on letter A first. We will be looking for the measure of angle B. From the figure, it is safe to say that angle B right here is an inscribed angle. So therefore, it has an intercepted arc. So if we are going to um, highlight the angle, this is angle B right here. The intercepted arc is arc AD, which is 70 degrees. And according to our concept, the measure of the inscribed angle is half the measure of its intercepted arc. So therefore, the measure of angle B is one half the measure of arc AD. Or, maybe we can write it as the measure of arc AD over 2. That's just the same. So, I will opt to use this notation because this is the simpler one. So, we have here 70 because that is the measure of arc AD over 2. Therefore, the measure of angle B is equal to 35 degrees.
Let us move on to letter B. We have to find the measure of angle C. So the measure of angle C. If we are going to locate angle C in our figure, this is angle C. And if we are going to highlight angle C, let's use a green pen color, we can see that the intercepted arc is also arc AD. So therefore, just the same, the measure of angle C is equal to the measure of arc AD over 2. So we have here now 70 over 2. The measure of angle C is equal to 35 degrees also. Let us proceed to letter C. So what we want to do is to adjust this. There. So we can write here. Let us proceed to letter C. We have to find the measure of arc BC. Let us locate first where arc BC is. So here is arc BC. This is an intercepted arc. Now, which angle intercepts this arc? Let us use the green pen color. And as you can see, this angle intercepts that arc. What is that angle? That is angle BDC which is our given angle. So therefore, now, the measure of arc BC is equal to twice the measure of angle BDC. Sir, why? Why is it twice the measure of the angle? If we are going back to our concept, the measure of the angle is equal to half the measure of the arc. So the measurement of the angle, that's BDC, is equal to half the measure of the arc. So measure of arc BC over 2. But since we are solving for the measure of arc BC, so what we want to do um, is to cross it right here. So that is 2 times the measure of angle BDC that is equal to the measure of arc BC. So that is right there. So now let us proceed to substituting the values. So the measure of arc BC is equal to 2 times the measure of angle BDC that is 30, so the measure of arc BC is equal to 60 degrees. Okay, mananagalog ako. Balik tayo dun sa concept. Kapag nawawala yung arc, doble nung angle. Kapag yung angle lang nawawala, kalahate siya nung arc. So, para makuha natin yung 40, anong gagawin natin? Ita times natin sa 2 yung 20, which is yung angle. Para mahanap natin yung 20 na angle, anong gagawin natin sa 40? I-divide naman natin sa 2. Anyway, let us proceed to letter D. We have to find the measure of arc AB. Measure of arc AB. So let us locate where arc AB is first. Here is arc AB. And if you are going to observe arc AB, it is not intercepted by any angle. But from our given, it was said that segment AC is a diameter. 
So if this is a diameter, it follows that this is a semicircle, which is 180 degrees. If we have BC, which is 60, this should be 180 minus 60. So that's what we are going to do. So the measure of arc AB is equal to, where is it, is equal to 180 degrees minus the measure of arc BC, which is 180 degrees minus 60 degrees. Therefore, the measure of arc AB is equal to 120 degrees. So basically, in letter D, we just need to use the information that is available for us to solve for what is missing in the problem. Sorry. Anyway, let us proceed to letter E. I just need to erase this there and also this. Sorry, also that. There. So let us adjust this again here and let us solve for letter E. We have to find the measure of angle A, D, B. Let us find angle A, D, B first. A, D, B. There is no line that connects or segment that connects A and D. So we are going to write it there. A, D, B is an inscribed angle. And here intercepts a certain arc, which is arc AB. So since it is an angle, we know that that is half the measure of its intercepted arc. So that is the measure of arc AB over 2. But we have just solved for the measure of arc AB a while ago. So that is 120 degrees. So therefore, the measure of angle ADB is equal to 120 over 2. So therefore, the measure of angle ADB is equal to 60 degrees. Lastly, we have letter F. We have to find the measure of angle A, sorry, A, D, C. Let us locate first where angle A, D, C is. So here is angle A, D, C. A, D, C right here. It is an inscribed angle and it intercepts a certain arc which is right here, A, B, C, which is a semicircle. How did I know that that is a semicircle? It's because segment AC is a diameter, and a diameter divides the circle into two semicircles. Therefore, angle ADC is an inscribed angle that intercepts a semicircle. So therefore, that is half the measure of its intercepted arc A, B, C, which is 180 degrees. Also, you can use the arc addition postulate to find the measure of arc A, B, C. We have 120 here and we have 60 there. So if you add the two, you also get 180 over 2. So the measure of angle ADC is equal to 90 degrees.